Halborn's story is both terrifying and uplifting. After a car crash, it was thought for two decades he was in a vegetative state with no awareness of his surroundings. Now it's known that while paralyzed, his mind was always strikingly alert, but he had no way of telling the doctors. My name is Robert, and I work for a British television station, ITV News. Hello. Today I interviewed him. While his carer supports his hand and elbow, Rom guides the pen onto a keyboard. He understands English, but types his answers in Flemish. How lonely, how frightening has it been for you these last 20 something years? At some moments, it was terribly lonely, but I knew my family was believing in me. It was his mother who demanded specialists reassess Rom. With the latest scanning equipment, they confirmed his brain was fully functional. Staff at the centre say it's now clear Rom was aware of events here all along. It's a second birth. We were amazed, we were really, we were stunned. We, we didn't know what, what happened. Um, because he proved to be totally aware of everything that happened around him. I simply want to enjoy life. I know there's a big difference now. I'm back in contact with the world. Neurologists say such dramatic cases of so-called locked-in syndrome are mercifully uncommon. It would be a very, very scary predicament indeed. Um, so I think people are going to be a little alarmed by this. Uh, I think it is important for neurologists who see folk with these kinds of problems to, to emphasize that these, this kind of misdiagnosis, the kind that's been reported recently, is distinctly rare. It is remarkable to witness how a man, once so utterly trapped, is now able to express himself. People have described you as optimistic, which is a, an astonishing tribute to your character. And to that comment, he slowly and simply typed the words, I'm just being myself. Robert Moore, ITV News, in Eastern Belgium.